Today we are looking at the best football shoe of 2019-2020, but also make sure you watch to the end of the video to see a special update of my football season. What's going on guys, your boy football here, and today we are doing a review of the best football cleat of 2019-2020. And this is the Nike Hirashi 6. It's like Hirashi or it's Hirashi or something. And so this shoe um, is from Nike. I got this shoe off the Nike website. Um, but I'm just going to be doing a full review of this today. Um, so yeah, first we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. In my opinion, out of all the cleats I've ever had, these are probably the best ones. So make sure you watch the end because I'm doing a special update from my football season. Um, but yeah, so I'll start from the bottom. First of all, this is the shoe from the front. Um, wait, wait, hold on, let me tuck these laces in. So this is the shoe from the front. It's just a normal shoe. It's, I think it looks pretty cool. It's got like the laces um, on the sides and all the straps on the sides. Okay, here, and then it's got the big Nike logo um, around the whole shoe. And so we're just gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. So I'll start with the bottom of the cleat. Um, so it's like, it's kind of like spider web kind of um, uh, pattern on the bottom. So it's, I think it's really cool. It's like these little indents of like hexagons, like spider web kind of deal. It has, it's a plastic, kind of like a squishy um, plastic that has like a little bit of give. So it's really flexible when you run. It's got the spikes in the bottom. It's like a neon yellow or neon green um, spikes on the bottom. So that's pretty cool, like a Nike logo on the bottom. Um, I and mean, by the way, before this starts, the price of the shoe is $120. This was, this is very expensive for a shoe, in my opinion at least. I got this for a present for my dad um, for doing really well in school. Um, and it's like a slash birthday present. So um, yeah, this is a pretty expensive shoe, but I do think you get um, your money's worth through this shoe. So it's got the spikes on the bottom, and then as we work our way up, it's just got, um, the design is pretty simple. It, it's a very light shoe in my opinion. Um, so I play lacrosse, and I use lacrosse with this thing. So I'm getting multiple seasons out of this shoe. Has not had any problems at all. I just, um, yeah, it hasn't had any wear or tear at all, as you can see around the whole front of the shoe. It has um, some air holes right here, just for airflow. Um, so that's really helpful too. Um, on the front side, on the inside of the shoe, it just looks like this. It has a smaller Nike logo. On the outside, it has the big Nike logo. Um, and then also at the top, this is a really nice feature that uh, Nike and Adidas and like popular companies that make um, cleats for sports, they offer this like sock-like material, this really nice sock-like material, which gives it a really light feel and makes it feel like it's more secure on your foot, which is what I really like, because it just makes this um, makes the shoe that much lighter. Um, I can I have so much mobility in this. I use it for football and lacrosse. You can use it for soccer. Um, actually, I would recommend like a smaller, lighter shoe for soccer, since you don't get stepped on as much. But this is a pretty tough material. Um, but yeah, you just have these like designs on the bottom. It's pretty cool. You have this Nike like Hirashi design in the back. And then if you take a look, um, I have the soles out right now, but the soles are pretty good. I use a um, certain type of sole since I have aches on the bottom of my shoe. But the you can pop, um, these like shoes are kind of wider. So you can use these for offensive linemen. If you're an offensive line, these work great. They're a little wider, they're not so skinny as you can see. Um, they're pretty wide, so I don't have a pretty skinny, I have a pretty, my, my foot isn't skinny or it's not like really wide, but this shoe like you can, I fit a pretty medium kind of width of my foot, so you can use any type of foot in this shoe, um, you can use like a skinny, like linemen usually have bigger feet, so you usually want a wider kind of cleat, this does work for linemen. This is like a kind of like a higher top, but also for wide receivers since it's so light, which is really helpful because you can have that mobility that you really want. Um, but yeah, these, this shoe is awesome, I think. Um, you really get the bang for your buck in this thing. It has a lot of grip, as you can see on the bottom. I think the spider like kind of webbing pattern um, adds a little more grip, just like the indents can like really get into the ground 
And these spikes are pretty sharp in my opinion. I'm pretty sure you can switch these out. This bottom of the spikes, you can switch out. Or maybe not in these ones, but some of the Nike shoes start coming out with like replaceable plastic caps on the cleat. But um, really, this shoe is really easy to wear. All you do, I literally just pull this over like a sock, slide it on, and then just lace it up. It's not super tight where you have to untie. Like my Cam Newton cleats, I had to untie the whole thing since they were heights off. And then I had like, it's really difficult to put on the shoe. But this one, since it has like a sock kind of cover on the top, I can literally just slide the shoe on and I'm pretty much ready to go. It fits perfectly around my, around my foot and I just tighten up really easily. So this does come in at $120. It is pretty expensive, but I think you get your money's worth. Um, you can find this on the Nike website. So if you want to look, you can look on the Nike website for the shoe. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's like they have different colors and stuff. I thought this was a really cool color, the black, white, and neon green. So yeah, so and then also for this video, I told you at the beginning, I wanted to do a um, little update since on my 2019 football gear bag video, um, I did... Um, I did my gear, but I did not show my jersey. So this is my jersey. This was the Ducks jersey for this year. This was the, I was number 27 this year. And we are in the Gold Coast Youth Football League. I played for the Ducks senior team. So there you go, I was number 27. And then my name was on the back. So this one's really cool. It's my favorite one, the black and green. And then we have our home jersey. That was our away jersey. But this is our home jersey which is this number 27, and then it's like black and like a lighter green, which I think is also really cool. But I had a really, really great season. We finished seven and three, I believe. Uh, we lost in the second round of playoffs, but I think I had a really good year. You can find my highlights on my channel. They were like, that, that was the last video I made. But um, yeah, and then also, um, I just wanted to say, if you liked what you saw today, go check out my other videos on my channel. I have a bunch of football videos, and I actually have a few basketball videos if you're into that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a football cleat review today since I haven't done, like, a review video in a little while. I just wanted to give you guys an update. So, yeah, that was the review of the Nike Hirashi 6s. These are the 6s. Um, I got my jerseys, and then I'm starting lacrosse right now. And uh, I go from football to lacrosse to surfing and then circles back around. But I'll be going to high school next year. So I might have some high school highlights from next year. But if you guys like what you saw today, you can go check out a bunch more videos on my channel. And you can subscribe so you can see all the new updates whenever I come out with new videos. But I will see you guys next time. Bye.